When you are fighting a big elephant, you have to chow it piece by piece, piece by piece and eventually it will fall. You can't just attack head on. The dealership finally decided to take back their car, but they didn't just say cool Muzi, we'll take back our scrap. I had to push until people were pink on the face. Here's the story. When I dropped the car at the dealership on Monday, I told them I don't want the car anymore because they were failing to diagnose and fix it. I experienced the same problem three times in a short space of time over and above the faulty infotainment system which they managed to repair or should I say replace. And with a brand new car, this was unacceptable. The crazy part is that when I first reported the problem, they literally did nothing to the car and I was told their computers are not picking up any faults but the infotainment system was dead and the car was constantly showing a brake fluid level warning. They said I should continue to drive the car as it is while we wait for parts from Germany to fix the car. I refused because the beeping brake fluid level warning was making driving a nightmare. The car was already at the customer parking lot waiting for me to drive home with the problems. I told their manager that I can't drive a car that is constantly beeping warnings. Then one technician went to the car and fiddled it with the wires and the warning disappeared but the infotainment system was still dead and the car was stuck in normal mode. I couldn't switch to sport or echo mode. I recently found out that what the technician did that day was merely disconnecting the brake fluid sensor and then he put it back. So I drove the car home thinking the problem is solved and they are just making me a Popeye. A few days later the problem came back and it was worse than before. So I took the car back to the dealership and told them I won't be taking it back until all the problems are sorted including the dead infotainment system. That's when they gave me the T-Rock as a courtesy car to drive while they are sorting out the problems. The car stayed at the dealership for about two to three weeks waiting for the parts to arrive from Germany. Okay, sharp, parts arrived from Germany and they fixed the car. So on Tuesday, the 17th of May, they call me and say, look, Mr. Sambo, we have fixed your car and tested it. Everything is fine, so you can come and collect it. Cool. I go collect the car and everything is fine. I'm happy. I even post on the channel, the people's car is back, we all celebrate. How? Saturday, Gaboma 10, the brake fluid level warning is beeping again. I couldn't wait for Monday. Monday I go drop the car and tell them I don't want it anymore. They said no, we can fix the car and they took it for further test and inspection. I don't know who they were fixing it for because me now I was sick and tired of their scrap. I just wanted a new car or my money back. They said for a new car I'd have to write a letter to VWSA and I told them I will do no such thing because I know VWSA is useless. They will show you half-baked sympathy but at the end of the day they will always protect their own. So the option of a new car was already out of the table. Then I told them if they have confidence in the car they must buy it back from me and sell it to someone else and they must make sure I don't suffer any significant financial loss in the process. That was the way forward I tabled to them. So they said they will first hold a meeting with the guys from the used car section to discuss how much they can offer to buy back the car. They said they are gonna call me the next day to let me know how much they are willing to offer for the car. I got a courtesy car and went back home. So the next day I wait for the call, no call. I wait for the call, no call. At some point I thought there was something wrong with my phone or there was no network. Finally, I get a call from the sales manager and she says, look, Mr. Sambo, VWSA is saying, and I'm like, VWSA? She says, yeah, after you left yesterday, we escalated the matter to VWSA and they are willing to offer a new car. Now, all of a sudden, they are willing to offer a new car without me writing a letter. But now the thing is, they don't have a car with the same specs as mine. I'm like, okay, cool, let's see what they can offer. So the car they are offering is exactly the same as the people's car. It is only just missing the Beats Audio system and they said they'll give me 9,000 rands cash back to compensate for that. I was like, cool, we have a deal. But now this was just only a verbal agreement. 
So I told them to put everything down in writing because verbal agreements don't work. If they don't deliver to their promise, I will have no leg to stand on. A verbal agreement won't hold water in court. So here's our agreement. Good morning, Mr. Sambo. With regards to our meeting early this morning and the pertaining outcome, I would just like to confirm that it has been agreed by all parties that the most satisfactory outcome and one you most prefer is for us to replace your current Polo GTI with a new model offered by VWSA. You do, however, also acknowledge that you are willing to accept the vehicle without the bids package as it is in short supply across the world and the 9000 rand cost component will be refunded to you by ourselves. This GTI saga takes me back to the email I received from VWSA earlier this year. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll remember that email. They said, no, we only give our test vehicles to certain individuals or publications, wara wara, but if in future things change, we will be in touch with you. Now, the very same platform they were underestimating is showing them flames. Never underestimate a black child. While we are waiting for our new car, I'll be driving there. Out of all cars that are not worth it, this one is fill in the missing words. The VW guys have no idea how much I love VW, especially Polo. That's why they keep disappointing me every chance they get. You guys can even tell I'm in a toxic relationship with VW through my videos. And I'm not alone. There's a lot of diehard VW fans in this channel. You know yourselves. If they need a Polo Ambassador, they must just come to me. I can sell a Polo better than any salesman out there. But we will have to do things my way. No pushing marketing or PR objectives. No manga manga business. I will let you guys know when our new car is here. And please don't ask me why I decided to stick with VW instead of switching brands. I'll explain once our new car is here. Strategic thinking 101. 